Good day, mate. This video was requested by Captain Emma 88, um, whose link will be in the down bar for a drugstore starter kit. And um, yeah, so remember that prices in the drugstore will vary from where you live um, and where you purchase them. Um, my favorite place to purchase drugstore makeup is um, Walmart because they're always they always have lower prices. You can also purchase drugstore makeup at Ulta, CVS, Walgreens, and Rite Aid. CVS has Wet n Wild products, which I'm going to mention in this video also. Um, which, darn it, I forgot something. I'll be right back. Hold that thought. Let's get started with face. First, um, if you want a foundation, then I recommend the Dream Liquid Mousse by Maybelline. This gives you very flawless coverage and a nice finish. So, I really recommend that if you are a foundation person, you want foundation. If you want tinted moisturizer, I really recommend the Hard Gan candy sheer envy tinted moisturizer spf 15 um this smells just like sunscreen so i know there's sunscreen in here um tinted moisturizers are moisturizers are good because um in the summer they're a whole lot more lightweight than foundation and it has spf which is also good for um if you want a powder or a setting setting powder to set your foundation or you want just a powder to wear I look really in like the L'Oreal true match super blendable powder it is very nice and I like it a lot so yeah concealer I love the covergirl invisible concealer um ow, ow. I tried this out and it like totally erased the redness and purple of my red dark circles so really like that for blush if you want if you like cream blush or you want to try cream blush I really recommend the Alme smart shade blush this is in pink I really like these and they're nice and lightweight for powder blush I really like the wet n wild color icon blushes because they're super cheap and they're super super pigmented this is in pearlescent pink that was one swipe and I'm wearing it right now if you can tell but I've got like tons of swatches all over my hands so that's it for face for eyes um mascara I really love covergirl lash blast this is like my holy grail mascara the brush looks like this I'm wearing it right now and it's very very nice um absolutely love this if you want a waterproof mascara you can always go for covergirl lash blast waterproof but another waterproof mascara that i like is the alme one coat nourishing mascara as far as eyeliner goes i don't have any liquid liners from the drugstore um person prefer my preference i don't really like liquid liners but a good pencil liner is the CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus Eye Pencil. This is really great because it's super cheap and it's retractable. So you don't have to buy um, a sharpener. Also what's handy is if you want to create a smoky eye, you've got a smudger down at the bottom too. So that's neat. And that's why I really recommend this um, eyeliner. I... I've heard so many good things about L'Oreal Decrease, I just haven't gotten it. So you're definitely going to need a primer, so go pick that up. I don't have it, but I really recommend that you go get it. For bases, which I really like these, are the Revlon Beyond Naturals Creamed Powder Eyeshadows. This is in Buff. I think they have like three or four shades. I really like these. They're a whole lot more creamier and nicer and more lightweight than the Illuminance Cream eyeshadows. I like these a whole lot better. 
but if you can't get your hands on them, then the Illuminates Cream eyeshadows are good. I just feel that they're stickier and more thick, while these are more lightweight. Also for eyeshadows, Maybelline Trios or Quads, CoverGirl Trios or Quads, Wet n Wild Trios are great for beginners. Especially these Wet n Wild Color Icon, they show you what to put on the, like they show you a diagram on the back. So these are great 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 for beginners the cover girl ones I guess you just have to wing it because there's no diagram on the back but yeah I think those are great any trio or quad that you like whatever brand they're great for beginners um, I really recommend the wet and wild ones and the Maybelline ones because they have diagrams on them um, also if you want to do outer V um, like your outer V if you don't have like a brush or anything. I really like these Maybelline Shadow Stylist because the brush looks like this and it fits right into your outer V very nicely so I like that a lot. I like these a lot. Then <clears throat> I really like this Wet n Wild Ultimate Expressions eyeshadow palette and I'm sad to say this is discontinued. Um, you can still buy these at some CVS's they're selling them for half off, which means two fifty because these were like four ninety nine. I got mine for four ninety nine, so um, that means they would be two fifty at my CVS. I'm going to get some tomorrow. Um, but yeah, these are amazing. You, c it comes with eight eyeshadows, and this is in Sandcastle. I recommend this for beginners because it has so many neutrals, thousands of not thousands, but lots of ways you could create a lot of different looks with this. So that's why I like it. Let me check my time real quick. Oh Lord, okay. For lips, I don't have much. Um, obviously you're gonna need a chapstick, a moisturizer. This is the chapstick moisturizer. I'm sure many of you already have this or some kind of lip balm. I mean, I'm sure you're not but if you don't, I really recommend Chapstick, Carmex, or Burt's Bees. For a neutral lipstick, I really like the Maybelline Moisture Extreme Lipstick in Sugar Plum Ice, which looks like this. It's a neutral pink color, very neutral, and it's really moisturizing and shiny. It's right there. And I love this. And it's, all, it's um, $4.95. Well, of course, it's going to depend on where you get it. I got that at Walmart. <sighs> then lip gloss, totally your preference, um, whatever you prefer. But some of my favorite lip glosses are the CoverGirl Shine Blast. And this is in Gleam and Radiate. Don't be afraid with these to go for brighter colors because um, they're not that pigmented. They have doe foots. Most drugstore lip glosses do. But it's totally going to depend on what kind of colors you like and what kind of, um, you know, if you like sticky, if you like smooth. But I really like these. They're just a great lip gloss. So that was my drugstore starter kit. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah. Talk to you guys later. Bye.